<laughs> okay, so I'm back with Aries Moon and Cancer Moon. Aries Moon and Cancer Moon is, is definitely interesting here. It's definitely interesting, but it's one of those placements that that actually can work. It, they, they actually can work. Okay, the reason why I say that is because Cancer, if you think about a Cancer Moon, first of all, Cancer will have cancer will have feelings about things but it just they pick and choose because it's kind of like if it's somebody that they really care about they're a lot of times more than likely going to kind of put their feelings on the back burner in order to just you know support or look after the needs or the best interests of the person that they're with and this is why everybody loves them but it comes at a price though you know, and that's a whole other thing and a whole other conversation. But the point that I'm trying to make is that cancers have this ability, even though they're emotional, even though they're sensitive, to really, you know, not display it as much. And if they do display it, it's not enough for them to say, okay, well, I'm calling it quits. And Aries Moon, Aries Moon don't really have to um, compete with um, cancer trying to receive certain attention that is taking the attention off of them and especially in a relationship and stuff because cancer is going to be cancer moon is going to be more likely to um, add that extra attention on to the Aries moon it's like okay well they'll let it be all about you now there's a caveat because see cancer is going to cancer moon is going to be one is going to want to be supportive of Aries moon but there's a caveat and the caveat goes a little something like this. It just depends. It depends on if there is something debilitated within the Cancer Moon. Like if there's some emotional, um, subconscious or deep-rooted subconscious psychological aspects that could be interfering with Cancer's ability, to, Cancer Moon's ability to kind of just let go and be free and let you know and and um, be open to receiving or giving that support because if not you get a situation to where they're closed off i don't now with aries moon because aries moon is not i'm not saying that they're not an emotional moon but i'm saying they're not hung up on emotions and because they're not they may not even paying to be like really paying attention to that this is what Cancer Moon is doing. Like, if Cancer Moon is blocked off. I'm not saying that they won't notice it, but at the same time, it's kind of like, uh, you know, I, you know, it's like it's all good in a way because, like, I have other things that I got to tend to. You know, I have other things that I have going on as well, you know, to keep myself busy because they're not, it's not going to necessarily be an emotional thing about the Aries Moon. It's, it, it, you know, it's weird, you know, but this is what's happening here. Cancer moons could be really moody too. Like they can go and take times with being isolated and not really dealing with people. And then they expect to deal with you when they feel like dealing with you. That that's a part of cancer moons. Like they, they're, they try to work out or work through their emotions, especially masculine energy with cancer moons. Okay. And besides when they invest in you or when they put their focus or their attention on you or when they're with you, even if they cheat, they're going to want to still be with you. Even if they do cheat, they're going to want to still be with you. Like, it's not going to be something that they're going to sit there and they're going to just let go of easily. You get what I'm saying? Because it's like once that emotional attachment happens or forms, it's hard for them to break loose. This is why Cancer Moon will really ignore a lot of what Aries Moon does. Even if they feel like Aries Moon is being disrespectful or Aries Moon is being irrational or out of control, they will ignore it because for them, holding on and being maintained to that relationship is the is what's more important than, you know, trying to check Aries Moon every single time. Okay? Because Aries Moon could be definitely very intense, argumentative. I feel like there's parts of this that definitely hurts sensitive Cancer Moon. But at the same time, they sympathize with Aries Moon. They sympathize with their relationship partners because that's where they create that bond at, you know. And um, it gives Aries Moon a little bit of leeway, you know. Even though Cancer Moon could be kind of offended or hurt, It'll just kind of like take some time, pull back, and then just like, okay, he didn't. Cancer Moon can really 
talk themselves through certain emotions or not feel them in order to just not really look at what's going on at the, the current time. It's just, hey, you know, it just is what it is. A lot of times it's a little bit cancer moon because of like certain attachments. Now, but I mean, in a, in a sense, it's weird. In a weird way, it actually could work out, you know, um, because of that. You know what I mean? Because every single time, and, and don't get me wrong, Cancer Moon has that ability, especially when it depends on what sun, sun sign that they're paired with. And then there's other aspects to this, what others, else is going on in their chart, to where they definitely could lash out and really be emotionally explosive. You see what I'm saying? They can definitely do that. They're not, they could do that. And they could be very demanding too and possessive. So you're not, so, and, and this is the thing. Um, like I said, Aries moon, can, like a cancer moon, so a lot of cancer moons, not every single time. It just depends on their sun sign and like other placements, but it like their Venus or something. The thing about cancer moon, cancer moons is overall, they don't, you know, they don't have to, um, you know, it's not Aries, Aries moon is not going to run away. Oh yeah. I was going to say like with them, Aries, the cancer moons could be kind of shy, you know, or just reserved and they could, it just, it, it, but it depends. Cause I've seen them go after stuff too, that they want, you know, don't get me wrong, but it just depends on the sun sign, possibly Venus, possibly Mars. You know, if you got Mars and like a fire sign or a more aggressive sign, yeah. Maybe in the air, not as much. You see what I'm saying? If you got, if you got the sun sign and like a water sign, they're probably going to be more reserved or like more receptive instead of going after, but it just depends. It just depends, you know? And if Cancer Moon don't feel safe, they're not going to, they're not going, they're going to be more withheld. If they feel like, okay, I don't know about this. They're going to be more withheld or more reserved, but somebody with a more aggressive placement like a moon in Aries, Aries is going to be, okay, come on, Cancer, you know, like, they're going to lead them, they're going to lead them out of their emotions, they're going to, you know, um, or they're going to kind of just, like, let things, for them, for Aries moon, it's like, when things happen, things happen, we'll let bygones be bygones. Now, it's not, you know, when it comes to, like, a more intimate um, interaction with each other, you know, it's not all that great, because I kind of feel like they're really intimately, they're on two different pages. Intimately, they are. Um, but, in you know, in in in, because Aries Moon is probably going to be more like fiery, passionate in a in an aggressive way, in a straight to it way. Cancer Moon may want a little bit more intimacy, you know, and just like take time with me. You know, show me that you care and stuff like that. But they will overlook emotional um, inco incompatibilities, inconsistencies, um, emotional, um, toxic emotional situations in order to maintain or keep a certain attachment. But they're very sweet and they're very dedicated to their lover and they're in the situation that they're in um, or whatever. But, you know, like I said, this is an interesting one. And you could possibly see this quite a bit. All right. All right. 